Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will discuss about the lesson related to creation of visit windowing based on ADY and pre-specified intervals and the visit windowing is parameter invariant. And the complete program and input data for this lesson can be found in the link provided in the video description. Now let us move to the background for visit windowing. In clinical trials, we collect certain data at planned intervals. And these planned intervals are called visits. Each planned visit will have a specific target day on which the collection has to be made in an ideal scenario. This planned day is generally called as target day for that visit. Sometimes, it is fine to collect the data around the target day by a plus or minus a few pre-specified number of days. So that is what is becoming. It is like instead of collecting the data on a target day, we can collect the data for a specific visit within a target window. So each window will have a target day, a beginning time point and an ending time point. So any collection made in the time window for a specific time point will be analyzed under that visit. So each visit will have a target day. So by plus or minus few days, the collection can be made. So the target day has now become target window. And then each target window will have a lower bound and the upper bound and a specific target around which these lower and upper bounds are organized. And then how does Adam implement this concept of visit windowing? So CDISC Adam standard allows for visit windowing and there are standard variables available to use when visit windowing is required. So some of those variables are AW target, A stands for analysis, W is for windowing and target is for target day. So AW target is used to capture the target day for the visit. AW low is used to capture the allowed beginning time point for that visit and AW high is used to capture the allowed ending time point for that visit and AWU is used to capture the visit window units. It can be days, months or years, etc. Now let us take a look at the input data that we will be using for this lesson. So we have our vital signs data set vs data set this is an intermediate data set that i have already created to add some analysis adam related variables like param param cd analysis date and ady and eval variables along with that i have already merged my treatment start date from adsl into this vital signs data set and kept it ready so as we are specifically discussing about visit windowing i have done all the pre-processing for these other Adam related variables for this lesson. And now let us move on to the specification and see how it looks like. So we have the derivation logic given for the required variables for this lesson. So for a visit, which is analysis visit, the derivation says populate is as week one if 2 less than or is equal to ADY less than or is equal to 11. So as we have discussed, now the collection can be made within a target window. The target window for week 11 is being given as anything in between 2 and 11 inclusive where the ADY is falling. So if any collection is made in between 2 and 11, that will be assigned a value of week 1 in a visit variable. And similarly, for week 2, the limit is provided as 12 to 18. For week 3, it is 19 to 25. And for week 4, it is 26 to 32. And week 5, 33 to 39. So any collection made in between 33 and 39, inclusive of 33 and 39, will be assigned a value of week 5. And then we have our A visit 10, so which is the numeric version of analysis visit. So we were asked to populate it as 1 for week 1, 2 for week 2, 3 for week 3, 4 for week 4 and 5 for week 5. And then we have our AW target variable which specifies the target day for that analysis visit. So here we are 
asked to populate it as seven for week one which means ideally the sample or the collection should be made on day seven but the load window for week one is two to eleven though the target is seventh day and then similarly for week two we are asked to populate it as 14 ideally the collection should happen on day 14 after the treatment start date for week two collection but it can be collected from anywhere in between day 12 to day 18 for week 2. So any collection made in between 12 and 18 can be assigned a value of week 2. This is how the visit windowing is working. And then for week 3 we are asked to populate it as 21 for week 4 28 and 35 for week 5. And then we have our aw low variable which says analysis window beginning time point. So we have seen on the left side of the derivation of our a visit for before ady we all the we have the lower limit on the right hand side we have the upper limit for each visit so these values on the left side of ady in the filter condition or the condition for each visit will become the lower bound or beginning time point for that visit so we are asked to populate two for week one for aw low 12, 19, 26 and 33 for week 2, 3, 4 and 5 respectively. And then for AW high, the values on the right side of the ADY in the filter conditions for A visit for each week will become our AW high because they are the ending time point for that particular analysis visit. So we are asked to populate it as 11, 18, 25, 32 and 39 for week 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 respectively. And then we have our AW variable which says analysis visit analysis window unit and then we are asked to populate it as days. So we have now seen the specification. Now let us try to manually fill in the these derived variables which are related to windowing in our form output. So the we know that what are the let, let's try to first populate a visit variable using the windowing algorithm that was provided to us. So it says 2 to 11, 12 to 18, 19 to 25, 26 to 32, 33 to 39 for week 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So now let us try to examine each row and then see where that particular ADY falls. So ADY minus 21. So our lowest ADY in the derivation provided began with 2. So we are looking for only records where ADY is greater than or is equal to 2. So minus 21. So we do not have any condition specified for this study day. And even for 1, we did not have any condition. So we have one collection on day 8. So day 8 was falling in week 1's definition because the limit was 2 to 11 for week 1. So what will be the A visit value here? It will be week 1. And then we have another collection on day 15 so this 15 was falling in week 2 because for week 2 the limit was 12 to 18 so this will become week 2 so let us also try to populate other variables at the same time so for a visit n for week 1 we were asked to populate with the value of 1 so we have populated and the target day for week 1 was day 7 so let us populate it with 7 and then for aw low it was 2 and aw high it was 11 so let us populate it those values for week 2 we were asked to use a value of 2 in a visit n so we have done that and for aw target for week 2 was 14 days so the collection should have happened on 14th day but the collection was made on 15th but the window allowed it to be from day 12 to day 18 so any collection in between day 12 to day 18 would technically become week 2 and then now let us try to see 22 so ady 22 was falling in week 3 definition because for week 3 the lower limit was 19 and the upper limit was 25 and the target day for week 3 was day 21 so the analysis so day 22 was falling in between the condition for week 3 19 to 25 so we should populate it as 
week 3 and the hesitant value was 3 for this and then we have our next collection which says 23 so as per the specification 23 was in the lower bound and upper bound of 19 to 25 which was qualifying for week 3 so this would also become week 3 because it is within the specified range for week 3 of 19 to 25 days so let us try to populate it with the same values for week 3 the lower bound was 19 and the upper bound was 25 and then we have a collection on day 29 so this is falling in the limits for week 4 which was from day 26 to 32 so we have a collection on 29 which falls in between the range of week 4 lower and upper bound so we will have to populate a visit as a week 4 and then a visitant becomes a 4 and the target day for week 4 was 28 so we will populate it with that number and then AW low for week 4 was 26 and AW high for week 4 was 32 so we would populate it with 32 and then we have a collection on 36 so this is falling in the limits of 33 to 39 for week 5 so 36 is in between 33 to 39 which is for week 5 so we would populate the a visit value with week 5 and then assign the value of 5 for a visitant and then the target day for week 5 was 35 so let us populate it with that number and then aw low for week 5 was 33 and the upper bound was 39 so we have populated it and then wherever aw or a visit is populated we can populate awu as days So this is how we can manually identify the visit analysis visit and assign the other related analysis window related variables. So now let us take a look at the program and then see how this is implemented. So a copy of vital signs is being made as vital signs 01 and that data set is used in another data step and then here the values are being assigned so here if you see we are checking whether ady is falling in between 2 and 11 this is the first condition for week 1 so if it the ady is falling in between 2 and 11 so we were supposed to assign the value for a visit as week 1 and then 1 for a visit and 2 uh, 1 for a visit n and then the lower bound for this particular visit if it falls there is uh, 2 and the upper bound is high and then the target visit when it meets the condition for week 1 is 7 the target day for week 1 is 7 so we are populating that way and then we are checking the condition where whether if it doesn't fall in the 2 to 11 days so we are checking whether it falls in the lower and upper bound limits for week 2 so we have checked whether the ady is falling in between 12 and 18 and then similarly assigning the a visit and a visit a w low a w high and a w target for the week 2 related values and then we have checked for the third week related or lower bound and upper bound and compared the adi with those values and if it is falling in that we are assigning the variables related to week 3 and then we checked for the fourth week and then checked whether the ady is falling in between the lower bound and upper bound for that particular visit and assigning the values related to those and then similarly for week 5 so now let us take a look at the input data sets or the intermediate data set that are created as part of this so vs01 is a copy of our input data set vs and then in vs02 we have actually assigned all the variables so we see that so one particular thing to note here is say if you see the raw collection in the SGTM data set was collected as unscheduled visit which was happening on day 23 but if you see the analysis visit for that particular unscheduled visit is becoming week 3 based on 
the study day when it is collected as per our analysis needs. So we have populated our analysis result analysis windowing related variables using the program which we have seen. So this is how we can apply visit windowing when it is required in our analysis. So thank you for watching and keep learning.